Okay, so the next what we're going to look it is RAM. So let's create one. And what does this filter do? It is um, scale and remaps the high values used in the terrain. So let's, for example, go in generator. We'll go create a gradient. We'll connect gradient to the RAM. Okay, and you can see right here we have it. Effect. And let's add. You can see how now it's adding those values. Okay. And again, this is a standard. Okay, let's me click OK. Just move slightly. So you can see how we add those jingle kind of effect. And we can also go take linary, which is increase and go back down. So it's kind of almost mirroring them. Okay, we can also enable our full height of a gradient. So or not full height. So it's almost like take um, and repeating the heights inside. So for example, let's go right now switch to um, other effect right here and you can see at this point we start kind of almost repeating this you can keep it at full height if you want it or lower and this is very nice looking effect I see how it can be used for example creating dunes or bottom of the ocean for example where is the water going because you have this effect of the waving that may be going over and creating same as a standard ramp same things can be created okay, but again if we look right here on a height okay, or a plan area as well of course we can go preview in a world for this one or preview directly in 3d and just look around let's look Okay, so next what we have it, it is um, height splitter. So let's connect so we can preview. And you can see this is splits in even height. So let's open. Currently, it's something similar maybe to some combiners, but work a little bit different. Like I said, combiners, it's splitting. So we can take like four example, and you can just preview right here reduced to zero so it's take it how many bands will take it and split them okay. also right here you can see we have it outputs so if we split to four it's take it and it split this one two three four and provide for us differently so we can take it and modify it based on a height um, it's maybe useful when you have it like ocean level set to one and you want split on this ocean level or maybe some other height you want to apply different time filters based on different height and combine them after so this is nicer way to split so you also can use our mountain height so it's all take increasing coverage just as a step over just to zero so it's depend what clipping behavior you needed you can specify and how many bands or how many times you want to split the um, your height so this is again this filter um, next what we have it, it is add noise the add noise is performed very simple it just take how many amount of the noise you wanted okay right here random seed and it's just apply this noise this is one of the very good ways to create um, like smaller rocks effects for example and uh, somewhere I read that people have a problem how you add rocks to the canyon to the sides you can combine this noise create a smaller one and combination with this maybe with bolding and with some random distribution you can place it nicely in those areas and actually we'll have a tutorial specifically how we can do that so overall it's just creating this random noise okay next we have the um, probability and probability is actually treats the input map as a probability density function so it's create a mask for random scattering dots according to the density of the functions 
so we can right here and you can preview it take the map and instead have it randomly it's scattering of course a higher we have a higher chance of probability scattering and we have it a lower right here and in some cases we take probability and apply map angle or high for example i want to make my um, rocks that will be for creating more on the sides than on a flat for example for the canyon i will set probability and i will have the input coming and apply a little bit more on the sides okay so next we have it actually flipper and you notice again this is will effect range so we have this symbol and what does flipper does so it says so it's just flip horizontally or vertically so it's maybe sometimes better to just look on it also our advanced pearly right here you can see so it does it does terrain and flip around in some performance when we work with terrain and maybe we want to affect some erosion is different so we may be using this flipping map but it's nice to um, know it's there okay next we have an equalization again notice the effect so we'll go on equalizations and add let's go directly to the gradient at this point and again you don't see that much right here equalization and if we're going to our same effect However, it's more visible when we go to advanced Perlin, and you can see overall equalization on the, how it's happened. So what it does, it's take these um, parameters and try to adjust them as closer as possible. Um, just a range of the high, the presence maybe in a high field. Um, so each high value is equally represent in the output right here again in some cases if you need to, you're um, creating canyon and it's maybe not deep enough or you want to have a more dramatic effect you probably want to use the equalization so you train for this this ones as well okay, next we have a blur the blur is straightforward it's using Asian uniform or motion blur effect and it's take a pixel or height and apply blur to this how you specify currently it's one so we take high field and you can see it's the same again if we go apply more blur it's become smoother Kind of reduce effect um, when you're using a noise for example for rocks it's we probably use a little bit of the blur so it won't be too sharp or if you see your terrain have it, this artificial spikes the blur will help to analyze around and create this little bit smoothness to your terrain okay next we all have it expander and the expander is a little bit fun and we'll use it what it does it's okay let me create oh what call sometimes the image morphology operation so it is um when it's work on a mask it can intelligent kind of increase or decrease size but beside that it's also increasing some values and decreasing another one depend on the settings so the action max is take higher evaluation and grow them so example if we increase you can notice right here we're growing this higher elevation so minimum it is um, shrink actually inwards those higher elevation so if you want to create even a sharper on top you can apply this and you can see how the shrinking create them thinner okay swell it is overall the elevations unchanged but it's kind of tends to grow overall a limp and strong so it's kind of create bigger ones okay and tiny it's opposite of this well one thing you notice right here we have these squares kind of pop up 
and it is specified in a filter. So currently we have it square, we have it circular, and a hybrid. The circular is slow to render, but hybrid is performed very nice. It's add this fractal kind of noise to this, so um, it is um, kind of have it all these three methods applied and create a very nice natural look. So probably if I use it, I'll more use the hybrid for my terrain because it's used more natural. You can see right here we kind of swell just slightly, it doesn't affect those other ones, but it's create a nice effect. Um, this is performed a little bit better when you use like maybe single mountain you can affect, or for example, we'll use the expander when I create the rocks and I want to separate. So I'll have a noise for the smaller rocks, and I use the expander to create some of those larger boulders effect. So a combination with them we can create a very nice rock covering. Um, terrain. Okay, so next we have it inverter and this is simple it just very invert you have it one output and you have it inverted output so input and output so it's very straightforward inverter and base in game so let's open this one it just allowed us non-linear adjust uh, brightness and contrast it's all it's all what it does so we can increase overall contrast as a gain or brightness bring all values a little bit down or higher so it's overall adjustment again um, in some cases we can use this to create canyons kind of look This is all for the filters that we used. Again, this is kind of overview on the properties and filters we have it. Most of this, if you don't remember, don't worry too much. We'll come back and we'll use them in our um, kind of real project tutorials and then you can a little bit know them more because all of this, it's very hard to remember first time when you read documentation or watch tutorials and it's come much easier when you start using and practice and work with this.